Hi guys, so in this video we'll be explaining about AWS Lambda pricing and how you can calculate your monthly pricing. So what you need to know is that AWS Lambda is also a pay as you go and you will only pay for the things that you use. So you'll be charged based on the number of requests for your functions and the duration, which is the time it takes for your code to get executed. Lambda will count a request each time it starts executing in response to an event notification or invoke call, including test invokes from the console. So this is the duration. The duration will be calculated from the time your code begins executing until it returns or otherwise terminates, rounded up to the nearest 100 milliseconds. The price will be dependent on the amount of memory you have allocated for your function. In AWS Lambda resource model, you choose the amount of memory you want for your function and are allocated proportional CPU power and other resources. When you increase your memory size, you will trigger an equivalent increase in CPU which is available for your function. Now you need to know that the AWS Lambda free usage tier includes 1 million free requests per month and 400,000 gigabyte seconds of compute time per month. AWS Lambda participates in Compute Savings Plan, a flexible pricing model that offers low prices on EC2, Fargate, and Lambda usage in exchange for a commitment to a consistent amount of usage, which is measured in dollars per hour, for a one- or three-year term. With Compute Savings Plan, you can save up to 17% on your AWS Lambda. Savings will apply to duration, provisioned concurrency, and duration of provisioned concurrency as well. So that's what you need to know about Lambda and how it uses its requests and its duration to calculate its pricing.